Drop the gun. Maxie. Drop the gun, I said. Good. Now call him off. This is Burke. Shut it down. We got him on the third floor. Good. Very good. He got away, I guess. You guess. You find him, but I have had enough of all this crap. I want him dead. Yes, Mr. Luddy. Treasury Department. Well, in that case, can I offer you a drink? Look, I don't have time to waste. I need your help. I think my partner's in trouble. He's missing. Well, I'm honored, but why do you need me? I, I thought the feds take care of their own. Not altogether. In Bo Maxey's case, they prefer he stay missing. He's missing. Our boss there wants Bo fired. He goes his own way. He doesn't, you know, go along to get along. Kind of like what I've heard about you. Hey. I'm out of here. Where are you going? I got some business. How you doing? So, uh, why don't you tell me about this guy, Bo Maxi? Poor old Joe, he played the guitar, but never knew. Poor old Joe flew high in the sky. What can I say about him? He's a mass of contradictions. Bo's chasing the perfect counterfeit C note. Yeah, I've heard of it. Call it the super note. That's it. I thought that was just a rumor. So they say. So our boss says. Bo thought it was real. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's real and what's in Bo's imagination. He's got tunnel vision when it comes to this Luddy and the C note. I don't know. He's still the best I've ever seen work a case. Who's this Tom Luddy? I thought the super note was printed in Iran. It is. Luddy's brokering a shipment of these bills through his company here, Trans-Arabian Imports. According to Bo. According to Bo. It could affect our entire economy. And this Luddy is dangerous. I'm afraid for Bo. Please, I need your help. Okay. Sounds interesting. I'll see what I can find. was a fine lady last night. You got the number for me, right? Because mm. you know she had an ulterior motive. 
Do you know what they would do to you for this? Ah, they gotta catch me first. <laughs> I ran his name. No missing person, no mugging, no accident report. No one has talked to the cops about Bo Maxi. Here we go. Jacket's full of commendations. Yeah, it's also full of reprimands. He does run hot and cold, doesn't he? Well, that's the guy Rita described. His own biggest fan, his own worst enemy. <laughs> you know, I've been working undercover for so long, I know how thin that line is. Yeah, maybe he is crazy. Maybe that's what makes him such a great agent. I kind of like his style. Yeah, like yours. Loose cannon style, right? Hey, look at this. Old car, no kids, ex-wife Janet. Oh, you know, I didn't get anything on Bull Maxi, but I did get something on his ex-wife. Really? Yeah. She uh, filed a couple of complaints about a prowler, possible stalker, investigated, report filed, no proof, no action. Here we go. The field reports are all on Tom Luddy's company. Maxie was sure he was using it as a front to move counterfeit C-notes. Shouldn't you be getting out right about now? In a minute, in a minute. Here we go. Heavy surveillance. Luddy's office, his warehouse. Yeah, I bet he did more than surveil. Little black bag action to help the case. Yeah, you make that sound like a bad thing. <laughs> Disappeared. What is he, Houdini? I looked everywhere. Everywhere but where he is. You gotta listen to me, Burke. Are you listening to me? If Maxie is on a loose, he is a threat to me. Not because he can use what he's got as evidence, but because he can screw up this deal. I'm listening, Mr. Luddy. I understand what you're saying. I get it. I really get it. I promised delivery. Now, if Maxie screws this up, my client's not going to ask why. Uh, they're going to start cutting off parts of my body. They're going to start rearranging things. Uh, I'm going to have things in places where they don't belong. Do you get the picture? These are the kind of people that behead you if you screw up. And they will definitely think of this as a screw up. Whatever you say, Mr. I want everybody to be searching for Maxie. Yes, everybody. When you find him, you kill him. Yes, sir. Janet Maxi. What do you want? I'm just looking for Bo. Have you talked to him lately? No. We've been divorced almost three years. He did call for a while, but not recently. Why are you looking for him? His partner seems to think he's in danger, trying to close a case that he shouldn't be working on. Well, Rita should know. It wouldn't be the first time. Are you sure it's Bo she's worried about and not herself? Yeah. I mean, these people all have their own agendas. She's no different. 